Good day. What I'd like to spend some time talking about uh, is shutter speed. Shutter speed and aperture are intimately related. Using both in tandem will allow you to get the exposure you so seek for your digital image. Whereas aperture controls how much light is allowed to pass through the lens of the camera, shutter speed controls how long that amount of light is allowed to pass through the lens of the camera. There may be a very fast shutter speed, like one one thousandth of a second, or a very slow shutter speed, like one second, or maybe 30 seconds, or in more extreme cases, one minute. So working in tandem with aperture, what you're seeking to do is create the perfect exposure. Your light meter will tell you what that exposure needs to be, and shutter speed will help you get there. Much like aperture, adjusting the shutter speed also affects the end look of the image. So, let's talk about shutter speed. To adjust shutter speed on the digital SLR camera, you'll want to use one of the click wheels located either A on the back of the camera, B on the front of the camera, or if it's a single click wheel camera, you'll want to use the aperture button to make sure that you have shutter speed selected when working with said image. Once you have shutter speed selected, you can adjust the click wheel to either raise or lower the shutter speed. You'll see a series of numbers. Right now it says 60, 80, 100, 125, 160, 200, 250, and so on and so on and so on. The larger the number, the faster the shutter fires. Generally it's thought of as working in a fraction of a second. So if, it, if the screen says 250, it actually means that the lens is firing at 1 250th of a second. If it says 1,000, it means that the uh, camera is firing at 1 1,000th of a second. And if it says 1 with a quotation mark next to it, it means that the lens will be open for a period of 1 second. Now, uh, a good general rule of thumb when out shooting is that to avoid camera shake, always try to use a shutter speed that is higher than the lens, uh, uh, millimeter lens that you're using. So if you're using a 300 millimeter zoom lens, Generally, you want to keep a shutter speed above 300 or 1 300th of a second. If you're using a much wider angle lens, you can get around with much slower shutter speeds while still avoiding camera shake. It's just a general rule of thumb, but something good to keep in the back of the mind as you explore shutter speed. So what impact does shutter speed have on the camera's image? Well, A, the faster the shutter speed is, uh, the greater the ability to freeze time, creating a clear, clear crisp image. I'm sure you've seen images of uh, water splashing and each drop suspended in the air. That's going to be an extremely fast shutter speed. An extremely fast shutter speed means that light is only allowed to pass through that lens for a fraction uh, of a second. This generally means that to compensate for the fast shutter speed or the little amount of time the light is allowed through the lens, you need to be letting a lot of light through the lens during that period. So a very fast shutter speed will oftentimes correspond with a wide open aperture setting so that you have maximum light coming through the lens for a very brief period of time. On the opposite end of that spectrum will be a slow shutter speed. You've probably seen images of rivers, lakes, perhaps the ocean, and the water surface appears to be a blur, almost a mist or a veil as, uh, is sitting upon it. That's created by using a very slow shutter speed. It may be as slow as uh, two seconds, perhaps 10, perhaps 30. Uh, again, the scene will dictate how slow the shutter speed needs to be to capture that uh, slick, fluid look. Now again, if you're letting light through the lens for a long period of time, generally speaking, you'll want to let a smaller amount of light through so that the image isn't overexposed or too bright, washed out. So a long shutter speed, 30 seconds, uh, will most often correspond with a very small aperture setting. Let's think f22, f32, somewhere in that line there. That's shutter speed in a nutshell. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to email me or contact me through one of the online discussion rooms. Alrighty, enjoy shooting fast or slow. Bye-bye.